There are many cultures and societies where seemingly basic things like a girl child's education or the right to go to the toilet and sanitation are seen as taboo topics and are not openly discussed. I met a dear friend Ingrid Stelmarker who recently spoke at the UN calling to redefine dignity and honor. She also did a wonderful interview with Malala's father Ziauddin Yusufzai who spoke about how proud he is of his daughter Malala. who stood up against those who tried to silence her for simply being a girl and wanting to pursue an education so ingrid you were one of the first people to interview malala's father and uh, he speaks in that interview about how false dignity is often a cause of so much injustice including what happened to malala would you like to tell us a little bit about that I interviewed Malala's father and I have interviewed a lot of men on the issues of dignity and honor that they have actually been impacted because if you're on a platform talking to men and and really wanting to stimulate a conversation where they begin to think well should i behave differently do i have the courage to behave differently because there's an implicit element of fear in this if i don't behave in the way that's expected what will happen to me so malala's father zaudin was one of the people i interviewed as a boy i was bullied when i was a child fortunately my response was very positive i did not like discrimination for myself in any way so i disliked and i hated discrimination with women and girls in that scenario i encouraged my school children speak up speak your lips are free your tongues are free i encouraged my wife to go to market and buy clothes for me and for my children for herself many men will think it a coward act and they will they will they will not recommend it they will say no to something against bravery and against honor people ask me what did special i do for my daughter that she is an amazing young lady I usually tell them don't ask me what I did for her ask me what I did not do I did not clip the wings of my daughter in the name of honor and dignity I let her free to pursue her education I let her free to pursue the happiness of life which is her right which is not my kindness honor is not in imprisonment of people honor is to be free he hadn't really thought about the role that dignity and honor had played in the shooting of his daughter education of course is like lifting a veil from somebody's eye when you know something you can't unknow it coming to the education of the girl child apparently up to a million girls or more actually have to walk 5 kilometers to get to a toilet and consequently a lot of them don't go to school and they don't have the education because they don't have the dignity of just being able to use a loo one of the basic human health rights must be the right to go to the toilet yeah. in safety and uh not just safety from interference from other other people but to have the honor to go and do it in private and and to feel safe so it's such a basic thing and such a basic right but until people are aware of it with, with regarding to schools which is just ludicrous yeah but if you haven't thought about it that's true you wouldn't know there's a muslim saying that a mother's lap is a child's first school room the more we educate our mothers our women our young girls the better the school room will be why any country or any culture would limit 50% of its population to not working or not being educated when it affects the generations going forward you mentioned a very interesting muslim saying where a mother's lap is a child's first classroom and i think that's such a beautiful thing to say and it actually makes one wonder apart from education at a grassroots level for all children at a very young age isn't it also about educating parents because they after all are the child's first teacher if you ask adults what they want they'll, they'll say I want a bigger car or more money or this or that but if you 
if you ask them what their values are, they, they sometimes find that quite difficult to articulate. And therefore, you have to instill in your children, what are your values? Yes. Um, and try and have a conversation with them about what they value. It makes me realize that these two words, dignity and honor, have been reintroduced to through you. Because as you said, they're intangible, so you don't often define them. But it's something I'm definitely going to talk to my kids about now. I've certainly learned a lot, and I hope our audience has enjoyed this too. So really, Ingrid, thank you so much. It's been so interesting. Thank you. Thank you.